Hey, what's up, Mapbot2000 here? Uh, welcome back to, uh, Doki Doki Um, if I get sidetracked, is be is in Volvo Blow. Um, I'm talking to people as well. That's why I got the headphones on. Anyway, so, really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? Let's get breakfast. I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Mike is the best. Uh, no. Next time, I won't forget. Hang on, guys. Next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? Just Monica. Hi, Mapbot. Having you done you did. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow and until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Mapbot. We're all a little bit embarrassed. This that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get passed on. Yeah, that's true. Hand mark in the poem. Mm -hmm. I like it. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez. No, no. It makes me think of something Natsuki would write. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs> you say so. Yep, by any chance, have you read anything by Shell Silverstein? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shift, shift this a little bit. Alright, so now, you can kind of see it already, but over that 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 way let me just shift over there <coughs> over that that way you can kind of see it um the files are there so yeah anyway eh maybe a long time ago it's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words These poems can be funny endearing or even sad they even sometimes they're only a few lines long. I even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. Even kids? Even kids, I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. You probably won't find much filler in her poems. It might be easy to write. They're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. No, I won't. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. It's the best way to kind. Bleh. <coughs> it's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force your so don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Especially since one of them's not gonna be alive for long. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? 
Don't worry, I'm not very good. Don't worry, I'm not pretty good. Sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, <coughs> 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 well that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't that doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Moon wall. Just read it. So what do you think? Mm, it's very freeform. If that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Oh, was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strong. <coughs> Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's the manga's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. You try so hard to make it perfect, but you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. It's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Whew. Yes, that's everyone. I glance around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. So if everyone is judging me through my mediocre writing abilities, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I guess that's what I need, that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Mata are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrow furrows in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? Clearly about feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... His language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Mapbot did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And my bot liked my poem too, you know. He even told me it was he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that my bot appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? 
Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs got magically grew a size bigger as soon as Mathbot started showing up. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Mapbot, she was trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Ugh. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all revolted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Matbot. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mapbot? Um. Well. How do I? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course, it's going to be. That's a key. Not even gonna. Actually, I'm gonna save. What, do you not agree with my decision? Do you not agree with my decision? Yeah, I know. Anyways. So, of course, that's gonna be... Natsuki. Um... Yuri, you're really talented. Uh, well... Natsuki has a point. I think that... I racked my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feeling with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Natsuki's poem did a really good job of that. Yeah! I did it, didn't I? It did, didn't it? Haha! <laughs> shows you how much, shows how much you know. That's not... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she wasn't. She was mean to me. Mesuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is pers is a really personal thing, and sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. It's just like I look over and it's like. What? So you look over your shoulder and you see this. <sighs> Anyways, back to white being off. Anyways, yeah. So you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Nasty Key. Uh, Natsuki's voice gets kind of surprised. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that it's barely out of it. Yuri. <laughs> Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, Matbot. Sheesh. That's the key takes a breath. I. The thing about. Uh, Natsuki glances over around the room. And as Natsuki glances around the room, she realizes. <coughs> she realizes that it is the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.
and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.